Hi, it's John. It's the 7th of January 2015. And I've been thinking about the topic, is it ever right to break the will of a child? And I've got this theory that uh, you could divide the population into two groups. Those who have had their will broken as a child, or overly broken, and those who haven't had their will overly broken as a child. And those who haven't had their will overly broken as a child are more likely to be leadership material. And those who have been broken um, are more likely to be followers, sort of workers. I think all children are going to need correcting, but there's ways and means of doing it. I don't necessarily know what the way of doing it is. Um, reasoning is a good idea and small punishments but not big punishments like locking someone in a cold room for hours or beating them um, they're not I don't believe they're appropriate punishments I think I find it reasonably easy to recognize people who've had um, their wills severely broken in childhood um, normally makes them nervous and then it also has the effect of making a person nervous all through everything decision making and uh, especially approaching adults you know having conversation with adults this lack of trust I've been watching a website it said about it and it said uh, that um, that it really confuses the child when you when you beat it and then tell tell them I'm only doing it because I love you and it's for your own good. Um, apparently, spare the rod and spoil the child. Although it's biblical, it goes back to Egyptian times uh, when nothing was the same. Different co uh, different idea of uh, cosmos, um, eternity. It, everything was completely different, slaves and free. Um, so spare the rod and spoil the child is uh, is completely outdated and needs to be burned. And I suppose once someone has been completely broken as a child, then they want to do the same thing to their children. You know, it never done me any harm. And you see get women out, out at the shops, don't, don't, don't you sort of slapping their children um, it's not doing them any good really I mean I think I think children sort of want more or less a hundred percent attention uh, well a lot of children a lot of the time so if you're brought up by a governess you get a hundred percent attention then perhaps you go to Eton and Sandhurst um, it's completely different um, as, uh, upbringing to um, somebody who uh, gets slapped and shut in a cold room and deprived of pocket money or friendship. Anyway, let me know what you think. Right, bye for now.